Okay. So uh, we should be in now. Um, this is a short video to talk about Facebook Horizon Workrooms. It's a new product in, in, in beta release, um, primarily for users who use virtual reality headsets like the Oculus Quest 2 to collaborate um, in a more face-to-face uh, -face way and to uh, collaborate with people who are accessing via the desktop, like in Zoom meetings. Um, so you're watching this recording, I'm just looking over at my real screen, which is over there in the real world. You're looking at this recording through the web-based app. Um, you basically get a meeting invitation, just like a Zoom meeting. You click on it and you can go in straight without any login as a guest. Um, it seems to be streaming this, this 3D environment here into um, the web browser, which works very well. Um, you can see my avatar. Um, which is my Facebook avatar. Um, you can see my hands, which are, are tracked through the, 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 the Oculus Quest device. It's pretty good. I can do air quotes and still kind of do air, yeah, do air quotes. Um, I can do okays, I can do thumbs up, and I can do Italian, right? Um, now, this application is, I think it's primarily for VR users. Um, but it's interesting because it, it brings in the desktop users as a participant in these VR meetings. Um, I don't think it's a replacement for Zoom. Um, ah, here's somebody joining my meeting. Hello? Hello? All right, I'll continue recording. I, I don't think it's a, a replacement. Ah, hang on. Who's joined the call? Let me go back. Okay, so this is an open, excuse me, my contorted um, avatar. This is an open room. I've sent the link to uh, the, the Zero Event group on WhatsApp, so there might be people joining. I can see somebody's joined, but I don't have any audio or any webcam. So maybe it's going to come in in a second. Um, but yeah, it's an app. Um, it's not replacement for Zoom. P people are getting upset. You know, why, why would we want to look at avatars, all these kind of things? Um, but it, it does seem to be an application which is targeted at the VR users, which of course Facebook has through Oculus. And it basically allows those people with VR headsets to feel co-presence. So I can have, I think, up to 50 people in this room in these seats around me. Um, and I will see their avatars. I'll see their body language. I'll see if they're looking at me or not, or if they're looking at the screen. Um, and for those of us who've, who've tried meetings in VR, basically, that experience is a pretty good alternative to Zoom meetings. So it allows us to feel co-present. It allows us to have uh, multiple conversations in the same room just like in real life. So you can have spatial audio and have a conversation over there in the corner by the window and another conversation over there by the window. It allows me to, yeah, to do things like that, to, um, to, to, to point to something over there, to point to something over there, things which are not possible within the rectangular you know, realms of your, your Zoom meeting or your video call. Um, now, there's a couple of new things which, um, this application introduced. So first of all, you can see I'm sitting here with my hands on a desk and that's because um, my hands are physically on my, my real desk. So Oculus uh, Quest allows you to define a, a, a kind of digital twin of your, your work desk, a digital twin of your sofa, if you like, and also a sort of virtual version of a, of a whiteboard. So this application allows me to draw where my physical desk is. So I draw a line here. Um, and this kind of means that the working process is a little bit more natural. Another thing that this application does is it brings in your uh, connection to your desktop computer. So I'm just connecting it just now. Let's see if it works. I just have to hit enter. Um, and this is a kind of a first, um, and it's basically acknowledging that the VR user might be sitting in front of a computer and, and using that to do uh, this kind of connectivity. So I just need to click on my computer here and 
It crashed last time, but let's see if it works this time. It's okay. no texture. Hello, Martin. Hey, yes, David, it's me, Martin. Hi. Hi, how are you? And, doing? I, re and I have been the first time now in this kind of uh, in this kind of room, and I realized there's no text chat because I wanted to write you. It's me, but I oh. didn't find the text chat. Uh, are you? What device are you accessing this on? Uh, I connected a second ago uh, the Oculus Quest One to the PC, and I clicked the link from the WhatsApp. Uh, program from PC. So I'm uh, having a browser open, a Microsoft Edge browser open. I'm seeing you in front of me on the desktop, and I have the Oculus somehow on my forehead uh, and using the, the <laughs> microphone of the, of the Oculus. Ah, now I see somebody else has joined as well. Hello. Hello <laughs> there. Hi. So we have a couple of people. I was actually in the middle of recording a video, but this is a good, I'm going to keep rolling. So you're on video. Um, yeah, Martin, I think the reason there's no text chat is you need to log in with a Facebook for Workrooms account or something like that. Um, wow. and, and the link which I've sent in the WhatsApp group is a guest access only link. So it's, it's like sending somebody a link to a Zoom meeting. Uh, uh -huh. But it's, it's a very, it's clunky. Um, so when I installed it on my Quest, I had to open a page in my web browser and I had to make a new account for uh, Horizon Rooms. Um, and, and, and then I get access to my calendar and the teams and all this kind of stuff you'd expect. But it seems like when I send just a guest access and I don't invite you explicitly to my team, you, you can only have this limited access through the browser. So uh -huh. That's, that's okay. why you don't have chat access. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. It, it tells me on the side as well. You can't access files, notes, yes. or chat in this room. Yeah. It's it's actually written there. I was. <laughs> yeah. So that's okay. that's because of the the guest access. Okay. So, so I, I, you... I go on the quest and find, search for this workrooms Horizon yeah. workrooms. Yeah. So just so you know, I had a problem. I found it through search, and it said this app is not available for Quest. Weirdly enough. Um, <laughs> okay. But then it. I had to click on um, details or something like this. So it opened up, I think, the store page for the app. And then I kept spamming install or get, and eventually it installed. So it's a bit weird. OK, and then, I will have a look. It, yeah. All right, I'm going to keep, I'm going to give a demonstration. So if anybody drops in, you're welcome to have this demonstration. Um, so for those people in the video, I now see on the screen, which I'm pointing at here, a typical video conferencing thing. So I can see my webcam of my my room over here. This is this is why you're not seeing anything because I'm sitting at the other part of the desk. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know who joined from mobile phone, but it looks like it definitely works with mobile phone. So hello, um, and Martin has joined on his PC. He's trying to get his Quest running. So I actually see three webcam views on this window here. I see in front of me now my um, desktop. Um, because I've I've started the desktop sharing tool from um, which it installs from Oculus Quest, and I can share now my desktop onto the screen. So I think if you're joining this by phone or on PC, you, you get like a full screen view, just like in a Zoom meeting of my screen. So I wanted basically to show that, you know, I can browse the web, I can give a presentation. It obviously reduces the the resolution here quite significantly. So I could give a presentation here. So this is PowerPoint. Um, yeah, as far as I remember, I can use a pointer, uh, not with my hands, that's annoying, but I do have a pointer with my controllers and I can highlight things. So I assume you can see that uh, me highlighting the, the word of Eva there, for example, or the logo. Um, certainly for people in, in VR, it looks like that we would be able to see that same thing. Resolution is great. I can read all the text, even though it's not in full screen mode. Um, so pretty nice to do presentations. If you David, have one of these, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. What's the app for Quest? It's called Horizons Work Rooms. Oh, it is. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'll, I'll see if I can get it. 
I'll nope. let you carry on. Sorry. Cheers. <laughs> um, yeah, so where was I again? Yeah, so desktop sharing. And of course, if you've got your virtual Logitech keyboard here, I think I could work uh, pretty well, although I've got all the convergence kind of problems. But I can, I can certainly read my screen here. Um, I'm not too sure if you can see this on, on my OBS recording. Um, ah, yeah. So in the OBS recording, you are seeing full screen uh, version of my window. So I'm just going to switch back. I'm switching back so you can see me as an avatar now. Uh, you can't see this, but I've actually got a large monitor in front of me with my computer. Um, it is shared on that big screen at the back, which you can see. Um, and if I use my physical mouse, and if I had that magic keyboard, I think I could actually work in here very effectively. So it's actually given me a pretty much full HD resolution of this, this large scale when you scale up this monitor in front of you. The monitor, the virtual monitor is so big though, it gets in the, in the way. You know, if there's somebody over there, I wouldn't be able to see them. And there's this option to make it smaller, shrinks your resolution down. Um, so if I stop screen sharing, you know, definitely bring everybody back yeah, onto that, that mode. So you can share your screens, your presentations, all these kind of things, which is a, an obvious thing to do. Um, you've got this virtual desk in front of you. You've got a very nice option here to turn on pass-through. <clears throat> so the pass-through means I can see the black and white uh, real view of my room, which is handy to grab the mouse. Um, it's, a cl cl it's not clear enough to allow me to type but if you're a touch typer, you know, I can see where my hands are on the keyboard. Um, on the recording, you won't see this, um, but I, I, in front of me here, in a small square on my virtual desk, I can see my real desk. So that's a, a really cool functionality. The other thing I've got here is this virtual whiteboard. Again, you don't, I think you see it just as a shadow on the OBS recording. Um, and this cool functionality here is, it's a bit weird. I can't use my hand controls. I can only pan uh, on this because it's obviously a small, it's like a Wacom sized tablet. But if I pick up my controller, turn it on, um, I have to do a little bit of a configuration step here. So I draw a couple of circles. And now I've got a, a usable whiteboard here. So you can see me drawing on the, on the right hand side of the, the big whiteboard. Unfortunately, there's some stuff on my, my desk here, so it's not working very well, but you can see I can draw little squares, can change colors. Oops. Yeah. So I can change colors. And, and this is a very good whiteboard because I've got the, the haptic feedback of my wooden desk here. It allows me to draw pretty nice. It's not quite set up, which is why I'm squiggling a bit here. The other cool thing is um, I can stand up and go to my virtual full scale whiteboard. So this is a way of sketching without, you know, leaving your desk. If I grab my hand controllers here, um, I can hit this button. It's a virtual button that says go to whiteboard. So you won't see me for a second or I'll, it'll flip out for a second. I stand up in my room and I, I walk over to, you can see in my webcam that I'm standing now, standing up against my, my bookshelves here. And in Facebook, um, it's defined a virtual whiteboard here. So it's the same thing. Turn your controllers around and I can draw, you know, very accurately here because it's larger scale, my, my whiteboard picture. And I've got the same toolbar down here. Let's add some green here, green nose, green irises. Um, and I can make an, a little presentation up in the front of the room um, by doing this. Moving around is a bit weird. I've got fixed teleport locations. I can move to this different places. Uh, it's a bit clunky. And then I have to hit on this toolbar here, which you probably can't see, walk over to my, my virtual desk again. And I see through, I see in pass through, so I can see my room completely. And now I'm back at the, the virtual desk. So it's some pretty cool functionality. Um, uniquely combined together all the stuff which the, the, the device can actually do. Why you come? Yeah. Hello. I hear somebody. 
Sorry, so I'm, me, but I'm still here. I, I will switch my microphone in silent. No problem. So I'm going to stop the recording now. Um, so far, people just joining from uh, the guest, you know, video login. I'm going to have to figure out how to get you all invited in here in the room. But it's, it's going to take you at least 10 minutes, guys, to install and set up your account, probably. Set up your virtual desk. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be here at 1500 um cet european time um and hopefully we can get a few people um in here in, in vr mode as well so it seems to work quite nice with people on the on the vc the video conferencing screen which i can see over there i've got three people joining this call still my my computer's crystal clear um i can go back and share that again or we can just look at the whiteboard the one thing we did test with nick was that on, it's like Zoom, only one person at a time can share their screen. Um, something which I like about fit, uh, apps like Immersed is that you can share multiple screens. And I think that's going to be one of the key uh, sort of added value of this kind of solution. If you can share, you know, five or six different people's screens on in a big room where people can walk freely between the screens, that's going to give you something different from a, a Zoom meeting. That's what I use Mozilla Hubs for today because you can stream up to 10 people's desktops. Um, so I'm going to stop the OBS meeting and I'm going to stay in, in the meeting so people can join us. Um, but thanks for watching and remember how to get rid of that like this and speak to you later.